Hey guys! So I have arrived in Minot. I mentioned that I'm going to be here for a couple of days this week and I am here now. Um, so I thought I would vlog a little bit. Excuse my face, this is traveling face. <laughs> it's been in the car all day and also it works this morning so it's not looking 100% but you're not going to see it for very long. Um, I thought I would show you my room quickly. So these are my lovely accommodations here in Minot. Pretty much the same hotel room that everyone is used to seeing. It's freezing in here. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Um, and here's my view. A parking area. <laughs> um, so I thought I would mention that I brought my, I brought two projects to work on. Um, while I was here, I brought my black work and I also brought my Canada sampler. So I'm hoping to do a little bit of stitching tomorrow and I will show you how it's going. I also wanted to show you a little bit of the Canada sampler because I'm working on a part that I think is really cute. And um, for books, I brought, this is the new Dave Eggers, Your Fathers, Where Are They? and The Prophets, Do They Live Forever? I know lots of people think Dave Eggers is kind of pretentious, like ugh, Dave Eggers, but he's actually my favorite author. I am, um, I'm not sure why, but for some reason I just connect with his work really well. And I also brought my standard, some Stephen King. <laughs> so I have Just After Sunset, which is some short stories, and Joyland, um, which is not his newest novel, but just one recently from a couple of years ago that I haven't read yet. So I think I am going to get in the bathtub and do some reading. And I will talk to you tomorrow with my hopefully very successful Hobby Lobby and Joanne's fabric trip. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, guys. So it's day two, shopping day, and let's see how I did. So here's my non-craft related shopping. Great success. You can see mostly makeup. So shocking, right? Not, not shocking at all. Um, Hobby Lobby. I did not have quite as much luck at as I wanted to. I will show you what I got. I got just some fabric. So 28 count Monaco in T for $6.99. That's 20 by 24. I got some Jobelin 18 by 27, 28 count. I got some Belfast Linen, 32 count, 18 by 27. And then I just got a couple of books and that was it. So the first thing, I got this Sweet Nothings for Christmas. And the reason I got this was I um, stitch my Christmas cards every year. So I thought this would be some nice, a nice set of designs to take. So there's some reindeer I can put on some cards. There's some little um, wreaths that I can do some seed beads on. I think that would be really cute. Don't look at that. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought something like this would be really cute for Christmas cards. So that was the one book I got. The other book I got I am actually really excited about. This is, I think, my best find. And it is the stitching book. Let me know if you guys have heard of this um, or if you have it. So it's a whole bunch of stitching techniques. So these are the techniques in the book. And it just shows you stitch by stitch how to do everything, including hard anger, which is terrifying. And I think it's really cool. So there's some basic stuff. There's some uh, really advanced stuff. There was actually a piece in here that I thought was really cool. It was a drawn thread. See if I can find it in the next four seconds. Oh, I did. <laughs> it's this. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know if I would ever have the nerve to try that, but uh, yeah, it's just gorgeous. So I thought this would be a nice little encyclopedia for me if I ever got stuck on some stitching or there's also some framing and mounting advice in here, which is good. I've never framed or really finished anything. And that's about it for my day. We haven't done Joanne's fabric yet. We're doing that tomorrow. So hopefully I'll have some luck there. I don't really know what I'm looking for, but uh, yeah, um, 
at Hobby Lobby. I just found it was a lot of like knitting and quilting and then not a lot of actual stitching stuff. But the fabric was a good deal and definitely not stuff I can get at home. Although they did have a ton of that MCG textiles fabric, which I tried and don't like. But um, other than that, I am going to settle in and do some stitching before supper. And I will maybe be back with an update if I happen to do a whole bunch of it. Also, fun fact, uh, I painted my toenails. You can't see that, but let's see if I can zoom in. Ooh, pretty, right? It's the joys of vacation. Nothing to do except paint your toenails. Um, this is the Sephora and Pantone Universe polish. It's got some blue and some pretty gold. And this is in Law of Attraction. All right, see you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm back at home now and I thought I would finish up my vlog by showing what I picked up at Joann Fabrics. Uh, not much, but I got a skein of 666 DMC because I needed it for my Canada sampler. I picked up one spool of Krennic uh, for something I'm hoping to stitch for uh, my friend and her new baby. And another book. This is the Encyclopedia of Needlework. And I think this is so cool. It goes step by step through like materials, framing, mounting, and then it goes through each stitch and like how to stitch it and what it actually looks like. And I think that's really cool. So I have a lot of reference now <laughs> to refer to. Um, this is good for me though. I like the idea of having all of the stitches, the stitch information in like one place as opposed to sorting through patterns and stuff like that. And I did want to show you um, a couple of quick progress things. This isn't really progress, but this is my Canada sampler. Look at how cute this little totem pole is. I guess it's like an eagle. I just think it's precious. That's not really anything important. I just wanted to show it. <laughs> and the last thing, I was working on my black work in the hotel. And fun fact... This section, here let me clear away the stuff under it. This section was a nightmare. I don't know if it'll show. Probably not. Oh, maybe you can see the little holes there. Not one stitch in this section came up through a hole in the Ada. I had to split everything to make these stitches. They're all like fractional, they're not fractional stitches, but they're all in between the holes. So that was hilarious. Um, there was supposed to be a little bit more detail in the middle, like the kind of um, this section where I'm pointing. The X's are actually supposed to be stars, but I did a couple like that, and I just couldn't do that amount of detail on the 18 count Ada with the cotton pearl that I'm using. So I decided to just make them all X's instead of um, risking losing the design. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Thanks for coming along with me on my vacation and I'll see you in the next video.